next point and that is uh, you can say that is also equally important to understand in comparison to compound interest that is called present value this will be used for your either appreciation or depreciation like anything if it is keep on changing in next 10 years or in future of in uh, next five years of time or if it is keep on depreciating means this value is coming down means we can say what we discuss and we have started value of money with respect to time value of money with respect to time it is increasing or decreasing whatever happened we will able to calculate based on the present value but present value is nothing it is just a reverse calculation of compound interest like just suppose p amount was there after n year r percent of interest it has become x then x we will able to say p into 1 plus n r by 100 there is no issue what we are doing here here we are doing simple interest not we are applying the compound interest p1 plus nry 100 this we are doing under simple interest both will be possible under simple and compound then p that is your present value this is your present value x is your future value then x by 1 plus nry 100 that will become your present value if it is depreciation you take in negative terms that much only it is not a big thing you are understood already x equal to p into 1 plus ry 100 into n take in this way depreciation take negative